This is the new American media. Brian Engelman here at the 13th Annual Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles, California. We're here with Papa Wango. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Very happy that we are here. Well, it's, it's good to speak with you. Can you explain what you're doing here at the Conscious Life Expo? What I am doing in the Expo is uh, contact with the people, you know, because we come from Africa, you know, already. And uh, we come, we go to many countries to make contact with people. And I like uh, LA to common because the people speak many languages, also contact uh, with the people to know, to speak about Africa, about the life, and about the problems, how we can do to help the people, to do more, because the people need help. Well, that, that's a good place to start. My understanding is you're from Mali? Yes, from Africa. That, it's starting to get in the news, not for the good reasons right yes. now. What's going on? Because all of Northern Africa is shifting and changing. Yes, but you know, for example, in Mali, it's not everywhere, because okay. uh, you know that you work in the television and the radio, the people need to make a publicity and message. The people say always many more what that is. Okay, so it's because not as bad as... No, it's the pen world, only in the north, you know. On the north, on where we are living, you need, you need two days with a car to go to there. Wow. It's very, 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 very far. It's like when you have to go to Chicago now, or you have to go to New York. It's all America, but you know it's not... Uh, it's the same it's not life. your backyard. That's but you look at Libya, you look at all of these places in northern yes. Africa. Do you see the changes being a good thing? Or yeah, you know the problem, not sure if it's going to be good yet. Not everybody wants uh, really the change. <laughs> yeah. And it's that problem, you know. But, you know, we have also many, many good people, all the people helping, like the American people, French people, very nice people. And that's why I have decided to come to America. They invite me, invite me a long time, but, but many American people uh, help many, many also Mali, French people, you know, and something like this. We have to do something. We right. cannot say, oh, it's like this on this thing, you know. We have to be positive because we are shaman, and shaman must be always to be positive. Well, can you, can you talk to our listeners that might not be very familiar with shamans mm -hmm. and, and all that it entails? Because I've, I've recently read a few books on the shamanic craft, if you will. It's very interesting. I don't want to say it. I'd rather hear from you. So yeah. can you explain kind of what, what being a shaman entails? Um, you know, every country is different with the shaman. Because uh, in Africa, in Mali also, every country is very, very different. But this is something what we do in the family. This is not something where you can go in the school, like here and learn it. Because here, many, pepe, many people do course or something like this to learn to take the class or to, take a, to do something. But in Africa, in my country, it's not possible. You have that or not. You have not school, who you can come in. And we will teach you how to do this. It's not tip. So I couldn't go to USC or UCLA, get a degree in shamanism, yeah. and do it. You're saying it's it's a family thing. Yes. Explain that. How does how does that because work? Because my grandmother, you see her here, she do that. You understand? She's very very famous in Africa, spiritual and cultural. Because in Africa, in Mali, we want you are not a musical, a singer or a dancer. You cannot do this work. It's fit together. You understand? Because sensibility. You need to be artist that you can do this work. There's a lot of music involved. It's a lot yes. of chanting, yes. singing, drums. You are very big. You're right. Can you explain that? Because yes. we just went to a music convention yes. a couple uh, Brian, weeks ago. Uh, I see that you know uh, most of the things. A little bit. <laughs> but you are right because um, we touch the people with music, you know, the heads of the people. Not with pistol and with fight. We touch the people and with the opposite, with music, with dancing, with drums. Because every drums said something on everything because we are we are healers and we heal with the voice. You understand? So you heal with the voice? Yes. When drums somebody, being a voice or just all of it? No, voice. Okay, the voice. voice. Because now when somebody is very, very, very nervous or somebody it's very, very sad. I can just now do something with my voice that you will feel in your body. I can try that and you will see. When I try that, you will see. Because when I do something with the voice, you feel in your body. So should, should I prepare myself? Do you want to do something? 
When you want, it's no problem. I'm, I'm here I am right very now. Spontane, you know? Okay, what should I do? Just stay here? Nebe falu gele naniye sara ha eri brayani baba baba na narkamani. I heard Brian in there. Yes, because I say your name. And I say many good luck for you. And want somebody inside. And want somebody have a problem. Did I look sad? No. It's not on good side. Okay. It's different situation, you know. But make people quiet because we we don't use electronic. We don't use something technic. It's only you understand everything that you have. Yes. On my grandma do that. When people is very very nervous, and when people want to fight with the neighbors or something, we call him and make a therapy, you know. With the voice and with the hand, and we sing these songs and other songs. Here, here the situation we have a song for that. It's very penetrant, you know. Yeah. Now I cannot because the other people are working. But when I do my session in my room, then I sing. Really, then <laughs> somebody cries. Somebody is happy. Stephen. You know? See, here at the Conscious Life Expo, there's a lot of open-minded people who are willing to look into other cultures. Yes. What would you say to somebody that really isn't open-minded, they have a particular set of beliefs and structures that maybe they grew up with, they, they've heard, you know, don't even listen to these, uh, yes. yeah, whoever the other is. Yes. What would you say to someone that hasn't yeah, you really... Know, Brian, uh, it's a good effect, what you say. Very sorry that I don't speak very good English, <laughs> but I You're doing try, great. I try to say, you know, uh, I think the people have to be open because uh, when you try some way, look like my sleep. I will show you some examples. Okay. Very natural. Hmm? Look, for example, we say that in Africa. When you are in the desert, in the Sahara, you have you need to drink, and you have no water. When you not drink, maybe you die because you need water. Right. When you try to open, open the button. Wait, is this, am I, am I... I will show you. Yeah. Okay, it's, oh, in the, good, it's, it's, it. it's in the left, or not? Yes. Eh? It's in the left. On one you want to close? Right. Okay, but we say in Africa. Uh, when you want also, you call beer in the left. It's not going, it's not going. You can try in the right. Oh, very, very, very strong. Maybe it will broken, but you can drink. Do you understand the idea? So you can spin it all yeah, the way to the right. because logic... Many people don't accept medicine because they, are, they only work with logic. Logic is in the left open right. or right closing. But you, it can also go in with another side, what is not logic. The important thing is that uh, it uh, happen what you want. You want to drink, you are in the desert, you are somewhere, and when you not drink, you're going to get sick because you need water. And it's closing. You can try another side. It's not use. It's not uh, logic. Or you can meet a knife also broken here on your drink. You know this is the, the should, system. Should we try it? No, I'm just. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You understand why? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a little thing. What I say is, I kind of use the circle analogy. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and in politics, especially in American politics, they talk right and left, Republican, Democrat. And they say, well, if you're on the right, you're conservative. If you're on the left, you're liberal. But I see it as a circle, kind of like this, where if you go so far right, you start to go back around the other side, You're right. and they meet each other in a common sense place where if they stop right. fighting yes, over Brian. the nonsense, they find each other on the back side of the circle and go, hey, Brian, hey I right. passed you a few minutes ago, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? Oh, we're a little more similar than we are different, aren't we? You are right, completely. That's, that's, that's what I, I just thought yes, of when you showed it's me. It's what I mean with the battle, you know. Everything is possible, you only want to try, only want to know, you know. We say it in Africa or in Europe, somebody say every way go in Roma, in, the, in Italy, in Roma. You can go from Switzerland direct in Roma, or you can go in Dubai or in Los Angeles, or Africa. it's longer, but you go in Roma, you understand? Right. But the people... All roads to, lead to Rome. Yes, the people yes. have that I mean. In Africa, this is a system to be positive, you know? 
can't get the fight, can't get everything, but it will be good. Do you, do you feel like people are generally positive or that a lot of humans get wrapped up in negative thought and can't shake it? No, not everybody is negative. I see somebody like you, you are very, very positive. Because you know, when you start to do this job, Brian, you know it was very strong for you. When you have, you have to choice different things. When you didn't know who on this, on this. I know that. You understand? When you chose this one. I know or it chose me. I, I don't know which one it is at this point, but I, I know when I was in high school, a late teenager, early 20s, I knew everything. And now as I'm 33, looking at 34, I'm realizing that I don't know anything, which is now where I think I'm in the place where I can absorb more because I know that I don't know anything. Is what I mean. But, but I had to grow out of that because I was very yes. confident and it's, it's I, I, mean. I thought I knew but things. But you are positive and you will win. Maybe not in this way, but in this way. It doesn't matter. You understand? Still you don't go do bad things. Still you don't damage other people. Right. It doesn't matter the way, you have to help. And many people need to talk. Talking, you know. Not only shamanism, shamanism is not only things, you know. Talking, on speaking, on show to the people that the people are important. You are important, you know. What you're doing. Not everybody can do this work in the television and in the radio, you know. Not many people have many good school and everything, but they are not able to do the work what you work, what you're doing. Not everybody is able to do that. Well, when I do radio, I talk a lot. When I do interviews, I try not to talk a lot. <laughs> and try to get you to talk as much as possible. <laughs> but it's a fine line. Because there's a communication where I want to tell you the circle stuff. I got to talk a little bit, but then I got to shut up and just ask you more. So, I guess, because you have people lining up here waiting to talk with you, um, where can they find out more information? Do you guys have a, a, a website or... Is, is there a good place uh, we, to We get... have a website, we have everything you can get from Brian. We have all the address on telephone you can get that. I'll be happy to speak with you more because it's very interesting, you know. I am very open from every discussion, very open. I don't like to say, oh, this, this discussion is not good, it's taboo, I don't want that. And is that the, no. the, the, the website right there, bestbalancedlife.com? Yes. This okay. Is, and this is my nep nephew, Gary, who work with me. Also, we've seen before. It's only family things, you know. It's only family. Only. My grandmother did that, my grandfather, my five oh, uncles uh, know somebody. Well, welcome to America. Hmm? Welcome Thank to America. Very much. Thank Hope you, very you get much. to see some of it, not just this convention, which is great. But yes. We are very happy. It's a big world out here. I like the people here. Many cultures and many things. Well, Thank, Thank you very, very much, much for your time. I uh, wish you many, many good luck in the work and many good futures because you are a very nice person. And same to you. Thank you very much. There's the website, bestbalancedlife.com, bestbalancedlife.com. African shamans, check them out. Hey, could we, uh, thanks, could we just really quick just hold up that photo just so we, if we want to do an insert, uh, you, could, you were talking about it for a second. On the music, what I was singing, is her music, you know? We learned that from her, yes.